It's Uber Grace time. Welcome. An atheist once asked me in a church service. He was really concerned because he thought, yeah, I get why you believe this now and the other. It's all very well. But I don't like the way you put God ahead of family or ahead of your partner. And that seems to be wrong. And I guess what he's talking, he's thinking is he's just seeing church and putting church ahead of this, that and the other. And I, I get what he's saying on that. But what I explained to him was simply that God is love. And actually trusting and believing in God as love and as your first love, as the love that's most important over other loves, actually it really takes the pressure off relationships that you have on earth. So at the time I was married and it was actually quite pressured marriage, which is why I'm now not married, okay? But actually the pressure that was on us was huge with our, both of our stuff that was going on. If my, if that was the most love, the highest love in my life, that would have crumbled a long time ago. But instead, I had a love that was first. My security is in that love. My rece receiving of love and my image and my, everything I need from love actually comes from that higher love. So that when I'm dealing with somebody like a wife and my children, there isn't the pressure there to be everything, to receive everything I need to receive from them. Because I receive that from God. I receive that from my Father in heaven. And it really takes the pressure off. If you know, you know, if you've walked with God for a long time and see him as love, which you should, then you will know that this is true. That actually you have a freedom in your relationship to be. Because you're not desperate for that other person to be everything for you. They might be everything to you, but they're not everything for you. You can get some of that from God and that is vitally important and so yes I went through that 18 years which is amazing when I look back it lasted that long because we both had a lot of stuff going on but I think this love for both of us I can't speak for her but I'm guessing that that love actually kept it going for a long time but actually when you lose that love and suddenly you're you're away from your children you're you're not in your family home that you've dreamt of all your life suddenly You've got this love deficit in your life and yet I still have that love from my father because he is going nowhere. So I can tell you from my own personal experience, yes it's been tough, I've had some dark vodka filled nights and days in between then and now, but I tell you something, that love is, has been like an anchor to my mind, will and emotions, to my soul and that love has sorted me through and yes, the storms have battered, and yes, I've had some dreadful times. And yet, I've always been loved. There's always been that number one love in my life has never shifted. And that, for me, is why I want to make videos. It's why I want to tell people, because without it, I think we do have a love deficit, even if we're in relationships, even if we are having a good marriage or a good partnership, we can still be missing out on certain aspects of love that our partner cannot give but he is all encompassing all wonderful love and i tell you what i wouldn't be without him for a minute hope that was helpful challenging inspiring i don't know let me know and please feel free to share have a great day